Welcome to Electron Online and here's our first example of how to find the solution to a system of linear equations using the inverse matrix method. All right, so here I have two simple equations, 2x plus 5y equals 3, x plus 3y equals 2, and we're trying to find the x and y values that will satisfy both equations. So we can realize here that if the A matrix is the coefficients of the x and y uh, variables, the x matrix is simply the matrix of the x and y of the two unknown variables, and the b matrix is simply the constants to the right of the equal signs. We can then write this system of linear equations in terms of matrix forms like this, that a times x equals b, and that means that the value for x, the x matrix, which contains x and y, is simply the inverse of the matrix A times b. So to find the values for x and y that satisfy the, inequality, uh, that satisfy the equations here in the system of linear equations, we simply have to find the inverse of the matrix and multiply times the B matrix. So since the A matrix is equal to that, since A is equal to the matrix 2, 5, 1, and 3, we can then say that the inverse of the A matrix is equal to 1 over the determinant times these two elements interchange, so the 3 goes here, the 2 goes there, and the negative of these two elements, that's a minus 5 and a minus 1. So all we have to do now is find the determinant, and the determinant is equal to the product of those two elements, which is 2 times 3, minus the product of those two elements, which is 5 times 1. So it's equal to 6 minus 5, which is equal to 1. So therefore, the inverse of the matrix is equal to 1 divided by 1, times the matrix 3 minus 5 minus 1 and 2, which means it's simply the matrix 3 minus 5, oop, let's go, minus 5 minus 1 and 2. And then if we want to find the values for x and y that satisfy the two equations, the system of linear equations, we can say that the matrix x and y is equal to the inverse of the matrix, which is this right here, which is 3 minus 5 minus 1 and 2, multiply times the B matrix, which is 3 and 2. We can see that right there, 3 and 2. And so we get, for the first element, 3 times 3, which is 9, minus 5 times 2, which is minus 10. 9 minus 10 is a minus 1. And multiplying this row times this column, we get minus 3 plus 4, that minus 3 plus 4 is a positive 1. And so we can see, therefore, that x is equal to negative 1, and y is equal to positive 1. And those two values for x and y satisfy the, equ the equations in the system of, lin of linear equations. To verify, let's go ahead and plug in the value for x equals negative 1 and for y equals 1. So 2 times negative 1, that's negative 2, plus 5 gives us 3, and negative 1 plus 3 gives us 2, and that checks out. So we know that our solution is correct. So quick review. If you have a system of linear equations, you create a matrix that consists of the coefficients of the variables, you create a matrix that consists of the variables, and you create a third matrix that consists of the constants to the right of the equal sign. You then realize that the system of linear equations can be written as the, the matrix A times the matrix X equals the matrix B. We can then solve for the matrix X by saying the matrix X is equal to the inverse of A times B. So all we have to do to find the values for x and y is find the inverse of the matrix A and multiply times the matrix B. We go ahead and find the inverse of the matrix, which is right here. We then take the inverse, multiply times B to get the solutions for x and y. And that's how we do that.